everybody, I'm here today to talk to you guys about this uh, Fina Healing Cream. This is for people with eczema and psoriasis, although in my case it is great for other skin conditions as well. Uh, this has been a little miracle for me this winter. If you're anything like me and you have um, any skin issues that happen to flare up, especially when it's cold outside, this is pretty much a cure-all for everything that I've tried it for. Um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the ingredients and a little bit about how I use it. So first and foremost, it does say it is for eczema and psoriasis relief. It is targeted to help with not only the dryness, redness, discomfort, scaling, itching, uh, and all that, but it also contains ingredients that will help to heal those rashes and to help make that skin a little bit more comfortable and moist and resilient. The claims are that it provides instant relief for dry, itchy skin. Uh, it is a natural anti-inflammatory and does have healing properties and it is fast absorbing and non-greasy. So first of all, I'm going to address the instant relief of dry skin. Uh, the first time I used this, I didn't try it on any of the spots where I have eczema. I did try it on my hands. I happen to have really dry hands, um, especially in the winter time when it gets cold out, or if I'm washing my hands really frequently, my hands start to crack and get really, really dry. Um, so the first test with this was to try it on my dry hands. Now, um, you only need the tiniest little bit for an affected area. Um, this is what the cream looks like on the inside. When I got it, the jar was absolutely packed and it only takes the tiniest little bit um, to take care of any area, small or large. So I'm just going to show you about how much works for my hands. Just this little pea size amount is gonna be more than enough for my hands and it's gonna leave me um, plenty of extra for my elbows, for my wrists. So if you're somebody who has dry spots in the usual areas like elbows, knees, heels, um, this is going to work great for you and a little goes a super long way. The next thing that I want to talk about are the ingredients. It is, as it says on the label, 99.6% natural. Uh, this is great if you're somebody who is used to using medicated creams, um, or if you use over-the-counter cortisone creams for itching, um, this is a great alternative. I know that I was using cortisone cream on my neck and on my chest where I get eczema, rashes a lot, and I just didn't like having to use it. It smelled chemically, it didn't really feel nice, it stung sometimes, and this is absolutely great for relieving uh, those areas and you know that if it's going on to you know slightly broken skin or skin where there's a rash it's not gonna sting it's not gonna hurt and most importantly it's natural and safe and none of the ingredients are anything that you know you should be afraid of being on your body so it does have organic shea butter organic coconut oil uh, jojoba oil safflower oil avocado oil uh, amaranth oil and it also has aloe olive leaf and chamomile for soothing as well as a bunch of essential oils uh, including lavender peppermint and chamomile oils like I mentioned before uh, those are great for both soothing and for healing um, everybody knows that aloe is great for soothing burns whether it be sunburns um, but it's also great for soothing skin that needs help healing um, which is often the case for eczema and psoriasis as well as other common um, dermatitis and skin rashes. It is also chock full of vitamins, um, including vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Uh, so it is going to help that skin in those uh, damaged areas um, or those itchy areas become a little bit more normalized. It's going to help your skin regenerate a little bit more quickly than if you did nothing at all or you just used a regular lotion. The next thing that I wanted to mention is the smell. It smells absolutely great. It doesn't smell chemically, nor does it smell heavy uh, with essential oils in a way that would be unappealing. Um, it's got that great lavender, mint, um, very soothing, calming smell, and it doesn't stick around for too long on the skin, but when I rub it on my hands, it feels kind of invigorating, and it's a little bit awakening and uplifting, so it's, it's a nice scent. It doesn't 
um, you know, interfere with any of my perfumes or anything that I might want to wear. And it does kind of fade away, but it does still smell nice and soothing when you're using it. So like I mentioned before, one of my worst problem areas is right on my neck. And I normally, um, you know, would be a little bit shy about showing my neck. Um, you know, if I'm having a particularly bad uh, rash on my neck. But you know, it's really helped clear it up. I get a lot of redness around here, um, especially when I wake up in the morning. Um, I have eczema on my neck and chest, and it's especially aggravated if I'm really hot when I'm sleeping, and I happen to be sweating a lot. I get, you know, a bad dermatitis rash on my neck. So I just take about this much cream, and I just rub it on the affected spots, and um, right now, actually, I have a little bit of a, um, a rash right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And while I rub this on it, it feels incredibly soothing. It almost feels a little bit cooling. Um, I definitely feel an instant feeling of relief. Um, the itching starts to go away, which is one of the most important parts of treating any sort of rash, whether it be um, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you treat the itch. Um, one of the problems that I usually have in the winter time is that no matter what I put on any of my um, rashes and dry itchy areas, they still itch like crazy. Unless I'm using something medicated or unless I'm using cortisone, it's still going to be itchy and you feel absolutely miserable and you just want to scratch it. And no matter how resistant you are to doing that, we are all guilty of sometimes scratching an itchy spot when we're sleeping or just when we're not paying attention. Um, what I love about this cream is that it has been the first um, non-prescription, non-chemical thing that I have ever used that has really effectively stopped the itching and made my skin feel uh, soothed. One reason that that's really, really important is because, um, you know, when your skin has a rash or it's dry and flaky, it's a lot more prone to uh, bacteria entering the surface of the skin. And then when you go ahead and scratch that area, uh, you're introducing all the bacteria that's on your hands, all the bacteria that's hanging around on your skin, and that's gonna make it much more inflamed, much more red, and it increases your um, possibility of getting infected. And, you know, I've definitely done that a couple of times, whether it be with a bug bite, or one of the rashes on my legs or the top of my feet. And uh, this cream has effectively uh, helped to heal these spots as well as to stop me from itching them um, nonstop. So if you are in the market for a natural, uh, pleasant smelling lotion that you can use for eczema, psoriasis, um, other rashes, bug bites, almost anything you can think of, um, this is a great cream. It does just as good of a job moisturizing and nourishing as it does healing, uh, which is awesome. This is definitely an amazingly high quality, effective, potent product. A little bit goes a long way, and this is definitely something that I am going to be repurchasing time and time again. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch.